Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about Facebook campaign budget optimization, or CBO, as they like to call it. The first part of this video, we're gonna do a little bit of an overview and a couple rules, and then we'll go to the ads manager and actually set up a CBO campaign so you can see how to set it up. So anyway, campaign budget optimization, what that means is we're gonna set the budget at the campaign level. So if you don't know already, Facebook ads are campaigns, then you got ad sets, and then inside of ad sets, you got ads. So it's broken down into three tiers like that. And you can either set the budget at the campaign level using CBO, or you can set it at each ad set level. And there's different reasons to set your budget at different areas. And this video, of course, is about campaign budget optimization. So that's what we're gonna talk about, the campaign level. Now, the key benefit of CBO is that it auto-optimizes across your ad sets and your ads. So you might have a few different ad sets. You might have like a look-like audience. You might have an interest-based audience. So you might have a broad interest audience or something like that. So you might have three different audiences that you're targeting. And then you have different ads for those different audiences. And so with campaign budget optimization, it's gonna look at which audiences are performing the best and which ads for those audiences are performing the best and it'll automatically you know, spread your budget around uh, to get you the best results for the least amount of money. So that's the idea behind it. So a lot of power behind CBO and it's a, it's a great feature that Facebook offers. Now for a few rules. So you don't wanna use CBO if you want to force certain audiences or ads to show. Like if you want some audience to see ads, like you don't wanna use CBO for that because Facebook might be like, hey, that audience isn't doing very well. Um, we don't want you to spend money on it so they won't put any money behind it. But maybe you want somebody or a certain group of people to see the ads or you want certain ads to show, in which case CBO isn't the best fit. You wanna go ahead and set your budget at the ad set level in that case, so that way you like force Facebook to show whatever ad it might be, even if it doesn't quite generate the best results according to Facebook. Like you might have some other metric you're measuring outside of Facebook and you know the ad does well, so you wanna force people to see it. So if you wanna force somebody to see something, CBO is probably not the best option. Also, you need to be patient. So when you set up a CBO campaign, um, you're basically building a big system, right? You got a few different ad sets in there and then inside of each ad set you have different ads. And so Facebook has to figure out, you know, what's working. So you have to give it time to actually work. You can't go in there and start adding new ads. You can't go in there messing with your audiences. You got to give it some time to work. You need it basically to get to at least 50 conversions or object objectives, whatever your objective for your campaign is, you need 50 or more of those to happen in a week. That's the goal. So that way Facebook can automatically optimize with using the CBO. So you gotta be patient with it. If it's not generating results right out of the gate, like just wait, okay? Gotta give it time for it to figure out where it should put the money and all that type of stuff. And finally, you don't want to mix your traffic tiers. So for example, like, you know, there's different levels of traffic, right? You got your cold traffic. They don't know who you are. Or they don't know if they have a problem or whatever it might be. You know, people that are way over here, they're cold traffic. And then you have like your hot traffic, the people that are on your email list or that have purchased something from you or whatever, repeat buyers. And then you got, you know, everybody in between that know who you are, but haven't purchased something yet and so on. So you don't want to mix your cold traffic targeting targeting or ad sets with some hot traffic targeting or ad sets because obviously the hot traffic's going to crush that cold traffic more than likely. Of course, it depends on your ads and all that type of stuff, but you're probably showing different ads to your cold traffic versus your hot traffic anyway. And so you do wanna separate that out, but it's just something to keep in mind. You don't wanna just create one big campaign that services everybody because it'll go crazy. You wanna keep your different tiers separated. So cold, warm, hot, or one, two, three, four, or whatever whatever it might be. So something to keep in mind. Let's head over to the ads manager and create a CBO campaign real quick. So here I am in the ads manager. Of course, you wanna to go to create now. And I'm currently in the guided creation mode. So if you're not in guided creation, you can switch by clicking a little button. So you see switch to quick creation. So you might have a be, be on a screen that looks like this, but if you wanna to switch to guided creation so you can follow along, go ahead and do that. And so now we just go through the process here. So we can go ahead and pick our marketing objective. So I'm probably gonna go after conversions. And then we come on down here to some settings so we can go ahead and name our campaign. I'm just gonna leave it this default option. But what we wanna go ahead and do is flip the switch to campaign budget optimization, right? Because that's what we're trying to do. And now we go ahead and set our budget for the campaign. So daily budget, $100, or you could do a lifetime budget. And of course you can change it around. Maybe you wanna do $20 a day or whatever it might be. 
and then campaign bid strategy. So highest value or lowest cost, which is the default setting and the one I recommend, but you can go ahead and read about these other options and see if they're relevant to you. But default's usually the best. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And now we're into setting up our ad set. And this part functions just like normal. If you need help with targeting or anything like that, I have videos in the description down below. So we're just gonna scroll down here and come down to right here, optimization and spending controls. There's some functions in here that you could go ahead and play with if you want to uh, with CBO. So we got ad set spend limits. And if we click this right here, this little menu, we could go ahead and set a daily minimum or maximum for this particular ad set. So this gives you a little bit more control over CBO so it doesn't go like completely crazy. Like by adding values in these fields right here, you can like force Facebook to show these this ad set to individuals. So you might set like a minimum, I think my budget was $15 a day, so you know, I might set a minimum of $3 a day, so that way at least some traffic is coming into this ad set. So that way I get a little bit more data. You could also go ahead and set a maximum you wanna spend, so maybe you don't wanna spend any more than $8 or something like that. You know, whatever's relevant for your advertising efforts, or you could just, you know, let Facebook run with it, and you know, if you do that, some ad sets might get zero ad spend. So that's just something to be aware of. If you want to make sure that an ad set gets some ad spend, you'd wanna go ahead and throw a minimum in here. But if you want Facebook to run with it, leave it blank. And then you just go ahead and click continue. And then you go ahead and create your ad or ads for this particular ad set. And this process is the same way as you normally create an ad. And there's no extra CBO type stuff at the ad level. So that's pretty much it for this video and CBO. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them down below. I'm here to help you out. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.